Hello there stamping friends, it's Jackie Ballhuis from Clump and Stampers. Today I'm going to share a project with you using the Delicate Desert suite of products. And I have just lots of kind of general stamping tips that we're going to share along the way as we make this quick and easy card. Now you know sometimes there's just those products that when you flip through the catalog you just keep flipping. It doesn't catch your eye. This was one of those, at least for me, I can remember Back in November, when I first got my hands on this mini catalog, I was at the Stampin' Up! convention with both of my daughters. We got the catalog at night. We're sitting on the bed, flipping through and ooh and ah, and look at this, see this. We got to this page and all three of us were like, huh, I don't get it. And we were just like, these images really don't go together. I don't really see a vision for anything with these products. And that's okay, we all have products like that. So I did not even buy it right away. I'm like, nope, not for me, I'm not seeing it. Then the next day, Shelly and Sarah at our convention demonstrated these products. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm starting to see all the possibilities. So I ended up getting it and I have played and played and played and played. You've already seen that I used it this month for my fun fold class. It was like, once I started, I couldn't stop. Well, as I was making those fun folds, I just kept going and I ended up making like 12 other completely different cards, all using these products and basically the same colors of ink and cardstock. So lots of different layout ideas with the exact same products, which is how I prefer. I like to just have a little bit and play a ton and make lots of ideas. So today I'm gonna to share one of those ideas with you. We're gonna make it so I can share some tips with you. And then I will give you a peek at all the other cards I made and tell you about a tutorial that you can get if you'd like to copy all the cards um, and be able to just make so many. And I know a lot of you have picked up this set already because of it being part of my fun folds. Now, if you missed the fun fold video, those are the featured cards I did this month and you will get that tutorial for free if you place a $50 order with me. So this is just going to give you a lot more ideas to do with this suite of products. So are you ready to see the stamp set that I didn't like that I am completely head over heels in love with? Let's flip the camera down and let's get stamped. Now you've already seen these products if you watch the fun fold video on the first Friday this month. Um, but you can see as I flip through here, it just didn't do it for me. I was just like, these images are kind of random. I don't see how they flow together, but I'm in love, I'm telling you. So we're gonna make a card and um, then I'll show you the other ones I have. So the card I'm making for you today, I'll have the complete list of supplies as well as all the cutting measurements for all the pieces on the blog post that goes with this video. And you can find the link to that down in the video description. So you'll get pictures of this card and, and all the details. So if you'd like to just make this one, I'll make it as easy as I can. Now, in this stamp set, there's two different stamps that are just these long border stamps, and they're so fun to make backgrounds with. So we're just starting with a piece of basic white here, and I've got early espresso, and we're gonna go on an angle, you know, no super particular place, just kind of angle it. And then after I stamp that, I'm gonna move it down, line it up on the one I just stamped, and stamp it again, and then move it down one more time and stamp it again, just to get some different shades. And then we're gonna start, we're inking it and we're gonna do the same thing. Boy, my spaces are pretty big. This is normally when I do this, and when I did my original sample, I was like looking straight down at it, but I don't think you wanna see the back of my head. <laughs> so there we go. I just made that background. Now, to get more texture in this, I'm gonna use my time-worn 3D folder, and I'm gonna go run this through my stamp and cut and emboss machine, so I'll be right back. Okay, so you'll see how this just added that extra texture onto that. And then you can see here, here is the first one I did. You can see how much, how close I have those um, images compared to what I did this. I'm gonna, I think, use this one to finish my card, but you get the idea. Put your head right straight over it and it's really super easy to line up. And then we're going to just layer this onto a piece of Evening Evergreen, um, one of the colors that I use quite a bit in the, um, with this suite. 
And then next, I'm gonna take a piece of scrap, basic white here, and I'm gonna take the large flower and we're gonna ink it up with Calypso Coral and we will stamp it one time and then stamp it a second time. I love the look of this and just the detail in that flower. And we'll take one of the greetings and come back to that early espresso and I'm gonna just stamp it in the center of that lighter flower. So it needs to be lighter so that you can really see that greeting. And we're going back to that stamp and cut emboss machine and I am going to cut out both of these. And then while I'm there, I'm gonna use this die, which we're just gonna call it granary because I don't know what else you'd call it. I'm sure it's some kind of cacti because it's in a desert set. And we're gonna cut one of those out. So I'll be right back with these pieces. Okay, so we got the two flowers and our little cactus bush, we'll call it. And we're ready to put our card together. So piece of basic white. Oh, I hate to cover the back side of this. All the prints in this designer series paper are amazing, which you'll see when I start showing you the other cards that I made. Um, now make sure also that you can find it down in the video description, but make sure you sign up for my weekly email. And I send out card tutorials, usually one or two, sometimes three, every single week via email that are not projects that I share here on YouTube or on my website. So make sure to sign up for that. You can do so you know, in the description or over on my website. Just, I'd love to share lots and lots of quick and easy stamping ideas with you. Okay, there we are so far. Now let's go ahead and before we start gluing these down, I want to just kind of set them here. So what we're gonna do is use that piece and then both of our flowers on our card like so. So I can kind of see where I want this little bugger to go. Put some adhesive on it. Okay, doesn't need a ton. We'll stick him right there. And then I'm gonna use dimensionals on both of these flowers because you know, what's a card without dimensionals? Kind of like Halloween without candy, right? Gotta have dimensionals. So we'll stick that one there. Now, when I put the dimensionals on the back of this one, because I know it's gonna go like that, we wanna make sure our dimensionals are over here, not where it's overlapping and that first flower that we stuck on. So let's just go ahead. I think we can still put three there, make sure it's up there good. Do that. And then we're gonna stick that one. Okay, I like to run it off that layer, but just make sure you're not coming off the edge of the card. And just like that, easy peasy is our card that we could send to somebody for whatever occasion. Just send them happy mail. We're all loving sending and receiving happy mail these days. So there is our quick and easy card. Now let me show you the other ones that I've made. Like I said, I went a little over the top crazy with this stamp set and they're all using basically the same products, only a couple ink pads, a lot of the designer series paper. So I'm gonna flip through them here just to give you lots of ideas to show you how versatile. And this particular one, there are two different dies. Let me grab those. If you're like me, you're visual. This one will cut out the bottom piece here and you can see um, all the fun detail. And then this particular one will cut out that top layer. Now, in this case, I did cut out each one individually and just stacked them on top of each other. But then if you look at this card, you will see the um, more rust Cajun one here. What I did was I cut out the piece with this and then after I cut it out, I laid this die on it, and you could actually cut them at the exact same time. You could layer them like this. I prefer to cut one and then lay this on the cut piece, but it makes this awesome frame. And then you can see down below, I stuck another one that was cut with this because I wanted, can you see the little stitching? But this is up on dimensionals and that is not. So you got some great um, dimension going on that card. And then again, here is our frame. So that's made with both of these. And you'll notice on this one, the I left the little pieces in the center. Now, when you die cut that, they do all come out. Okay, the card that we made today, you'll see that all the pieces came out of there. But I just put them back and I flipped it upside down and I used some scotch tape down at the bottom to kind of tape them back in there. 
but I like how they're not completely, you know, they're not stuck together up on the top, just on the bottom to keep them together. But just kind of gives you a, a lot of thickness in that one. Then here I use this other die, which is so kind of Aztec-y, desert-y to make my background. I'm in our flower. Just built a background on this one with um, the border stamps there. You can see I use both of the border stamps, alternating them. Lots of that designer series paper, mixing and matching the papers. It's just great prints. And then here, this die was actually from a different stamp set to do the pot, but you could easily just hand cut that if you wanted. Here again, I added you know those little pieces back inside and then I just used the layer, the piece using the smaller one here. But I love the border little stitch and notches that you get on that. So there we go, what do we got here? Three, six, seven, eight cards, plus the one I made for you is nine, and then the four fun folds this month is actually 13, right? Yeah, 13 different cards. So if you would like the tutorial for these cards, I do have that on my website. Um, in my tutorial store, that is for sale. Um, otherwise, over there, you can get all the direct or measurements and everything to make the card that I made for you today. So I hope you love these products as much as I do. Like I said, it was a stamp set that didn't do anything for me at first, and I started playing, and I just absolutely love. And it's super easy to create with and just get lots of dimension um, and lots of fun cards to send happy mail. So make sure to reach out to me if you have any questions or we can help you in any way. I'm here to help you and, um, and teach you to make quick and easy cards, not only to make them, but to send them. Send some happy mail today. So we'll be stamping again real soon. Have a stamp happy day.